All right, Coach, uh, an exciting day, adding four new Falcons to the Falcon family here in uh, BGSU hockey. And so let's start with probably the one that's going to get a little bit notoriety just because of his last name and Wyatt Galley, a goaltender that you're going to uh, bring into the Falcon program next year. What do you see in him just skill-wise yeah. that, uh, that is attractive? Well, I mean, I think he's a he's a talented goaltender. You know, I think uh, for for the normal hockey fan, you, you look at goaltenders that can stop the puck and ones that can't. I mean, we don't break it down uh, too more in depth than that. Uh, the, the the interesting thing about Wyatt is Wyatt was somebody that was already committed to Bowling Green before the staff had um, uh, taken over in April, and uh, you know, since that time, we've got to know him over the phone. Uh, he was down here this summer, but we weren't able to cross paths, and, and so unfortunately, we didn't get to meet, uh, meet face to face. Obviously, the son of uh, of Gary, who's uh, has his own legacy here at Bowling Green, but somebody that uh, has big shoes to fill. I mean, we he was recruited to replace Nick Eno. Nick Eno's obviously had a pretty good body of work when it comes to uh, his personal career, um, and we need Wyatt to to step in here and and, and compete for. Uh, ice time next year with Andrew Hammond. We, we, we expect Andrew to be a, uh, you know, a, a pretty solid junior at the time, and we look at Wyatt to come in and, and, and hopefully help Andrew carry the load. So it's a, these are big shoes to fill, and, and Wyatt knows that. He seems uh, he's going to welcome that challenge, and uh, we expect him to, to step in here and have an impact right away next year. You said that he was part of a, a prior recruiting class prior to you getting here. Now that you've, you, you know that he's coming in and you've likely gotten to see him and in, in his skill level, what do you see that is going to make him a good fit? Well, uh, we see uh, a, a kid that w really wants to be here at Bowling Green, and I think he wants to be part of the transition from um, a program that, at least in the standings, has, has struggled a little bit. And, uh, you know, that is going to make him the best fit because we're right now we're in the, in the process of trying to make sure all of our guys in the, within that locker room are, are within that mindset that they want to be part of this, this transition. And we think that that's where Wyatt fits the best. As far as stopping pucks and his game in particular, um, he's somebody that's got to improve on his game just like everybody else. I mean, his numbers in the BC Junior League are pretty good this year. They're not uh, through the roof and they're not bad. So just like anybody else, he's got to have to uh, have a good summer, have a good rest of the regular season and playoffs have a good summer and, and uh, hopefully um, he'll be ready to step in and, and, and be what we need him to be because like I said before the expectations are extremely high on, on where he fits in next year. And of course the obvious question obviously the son of former Falcon Gary Galley do, does that kind of feed into just rebuilding the Falcon tradition here how, how does he fit in as a player that yeah. kinda, you know because you don't see that very often no, when the son comes in and follows the footsteps I, I think it's you know that's something that Wyatt's going to have to deal with and, and hopefully uh, before he committed to Bowling Green he thought about those things because that those are big shoes to fill and Gary's got his own legacy here and, and, and now he's taken on a new role uh, as a leader off the ice with the Bring Back the Glory campaign and that you know that's got you know it's Gary's legacy here is definitely has two heads on it. One is as a player and a student, and one is now as a leader uh, and, and bringing back some uh, some ex-players and getting them re-involved and, and re-engaged in the program. Um, so hope, like I said, hopefully Wyatt has thought through that before he committed to Bowling Green, which again was before our time here, um, uh, and, and his focus on what, what Wyatt's legacy is going to be. Not worry about his dad's legacy. That's intact. That's in place. But focus on his legacy and how he wants people to remember him on a daily basis. And that's something that we'll help him with.